It's 953-020. Back to traditional rules. Maybe it might be your time for traditional. Who knows? Maybe something you're more comfortable with might uh, be better for you. I know trying to throw out that, uh... Oh, there you are. I know throwing out that uh, shit can be, uh... You had to go and readjust everything for that. So let's see if you got a... Let's see if double bet or the uh, traditional. You want yourself a warm-up fight or you want to go for the best three out of five? Fair enough. You and me both. I've been to work. I've done my work today. I, I've... Shit. All right. You, you could tell too, they also changed Rocky's, uh, he seemed, they weak the shit out of him on, uh, quest, or on, uh, PS. They put, like, that's how he's meant to be, though. Look at all the movies he's been in, all the big battles, all but one of those battles he's went almost every fucking round. Well, I mean, like, him and Apollo, both times, 15 rounds. He went against Drago, and Drago hits, I'm pretty sure, twice, if not three times, the normal fighter. And still went the distance. Still went almost 15 rounds, if I'm not mistaken. Fighting off Drago, and Drago wasn't even the most experienced. He was just a heavy hitter. The only fight, there's two fights that he didn't go the distance with, and that's his first and second bout with Clubber Lang. Every other fight fight he went all the rounds I'm not counting his time against Tommy Gunn since that technically wasn't a match that was a street brawl that don't count even old man Balboa went 10 rounds out of 10 rounds so all things considered yeah I think Rocky should be able to take the hit that's kind of his whole thing is being able to keep taking those hits so I mean I don't know why he goes down like a bitch in the old one but I'm glad that they changed it back to that's what my boundary is. Back to being lore accurate. Tell me you get to fight Rocky. Tell me you get to fight Rocky. That'd be fucking amazing. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, yeah, you get to... Uh, you do know you can wear that suit anytime. Have you ever taken looking at the outfits yet? The game has to offer. Oh, trust me, trust me. I'm thinking about after we're done here, dropping a uh, costume video, displaying all the costumes in game. And I mean, this is also for like you don't have the glow outfits like I do, so this would be nice. It would be nice to know if it is or is not worth it. Like obviously, I have them, but I don't know if you realize, but I'm not wearing. Them. Certain characters have their iconic outfits or iconic looks I'd much rather wear. Certain other characters, like your character, I would probably say I wouldn't mind wearing his. I just don't remember what his looks like, but like, he don't have an iconic outfit. I would judge the outfit as is. Damian Anderson, I think, I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly, I will wear his. I'm going to back, back up. Oops. <laughs> I was trying to back up. Alright, well... When you're ready, just ring the bell. I'm going to back off into my corner. Just ring the bell when you're ready. But, yeah, no. I definitely want to go and display these outfits because I feel like they don't really show you very much. You get the preview of, like, I think Donnie, uh, Victor, and maybe Anderson or Felix. I don't know for sure. I've seen it once while scrolling through images trying to get the promotional shit from, uh, alright. Oh, well, that works. Oh shit, I forgot how quick you are. 
I almost guarantee you forgot how quick we are. PlayStation. This isn't the street fight. Why are we doing this again? Holy shit. When you forget, and you get so used to knocking motherfuckers out, you forget the champ's power is actually up there. I don't really fight the bots, that's what's funny. That blow left him wide open. Will Balboa. Uh -oh. oh no, it's just... Besides when we were both tapping each other's gloves, like a lot of that, a lot of our defense is where we're both trying to go offense on each other, and we were literally punching each other's gloves trying to just push through the other guy. No, I mean, I haven't really been doing too much. Now, I want to say I might have gotten a little faster since the last time, since I've been hitting the gym up. So I might be quicker now, because of it. Well, I would also go and like to point out, too, last week when we were in the distance, you gotta remember, it took about half that fight for me to get the uh, feeling back into my, uh, my upper body. Six. First six to nine. I mean, you won, like, uh, I want to say you won the first four, five, like, the first four, I came back, then it was five, five, four, or, and then it went all me, and then I think round 12 is when you came back with a win six. But after I started getting my body back into place and back into use again, that, it was the beginning of the day and right there. You know... I'm kind of disappointed that Clubber has some of the better outfits. Like, don't get me wrong. I love some of the outfits they gave Drago. Like, the black and yellow he has, I love it. I like how it's not gold either. Because everybody else has, seems to have, like, a black and gold. If it's black and yellow, it's generally black and gold. Having the yellow itself stands out, and I think it works real nice. I like how... I've heard a lot of people talk shit about this outfit. I could tell you where this outfit comes from. I could tell you why they chose this. This is the outfit, uh, Apollo win. This is the outfit in the first fight. Many people mistake it for his original attire. But in all reality, it's actually flipped. I didn't recognize it until I rewatched, uh, like I had the movie playing off, I glimpsed over, and I'm like, huh, no shit. Because I was in, uh, uh, listening to a documentary from Stallone himself about what he would do differently if he was to re if he was to create Rocky IV again what would he have changed differently or some shit like that and I've looked over and I'm like oh he has that's where those shorts came well oh shit now these are pretty much the same thing but got a uh, metallic a scaly metallic which these are ugly but to an extent though I kind of I kind of love it <laughs> actually I'm gonna go with this And then, uh, I think in my last outfit, by far the ugliest thing I've seen. What a shot. Drago really showing off his power with that blow. Drago sends the other fighters to the ring. Wide open now. One. Two. Oh yeah, it's trying to recover. That's why I try not to pressure too much during stagger. Do you have enough lighting in your room? That might be smart, because I have, like when I'm uh, playing, I have the same setup as my old uh, VR, because my camera would be in front of me like it normally would be. 
and I have my blinds right in front of me, so it always provides light. So I'm looking right at the light. Yeah, no, because I noticed some of your arms, like, uh, when you came back from Stagger, you were... And I'm like, hmm. I know when we're going high speeds, too. You can't get full speed if you're lagging your hand out from less, uh, less light. So I want to... Oh yeah, I mean, for the most part, I didn't really change too much of before to now. I just pushed it to where now it's a... Uh... I just kind of pushed some of the uh, aspects I have. So some of those things I used to have, I just kind of pushed it now. Plus, I know that I don't have to hold back anymore either. Or the fact that when I Two, use like that speed I have, three, I think some of the four, problem too is like uh, my speed is lagged out by the old one, so I can't throw faster hands. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure too much about this that wise. On, uh, like, I could see your stats as, um, Erling, and yeah, you're strong, and you got more, uh, and you get cocky, but at that same point, though, I wonder if, uh, he still doesn't take out more stamina for his punches still to throw those heavier hits. Because I've noticed, even though I don't say it, like, Drago runs out of stamina just a tad bit faster than what Rocky does, or whatnot. It's like, the heavier hitters still tend to run out of stamina bigger or more. Not because we're size, but because it's like we're throwing heavier hits and we could take the hit. So we take and it throws out a heavier hit. And I feel like when we do that, it wears out the stamina a little more. And so trying to regain that stamina as a heavier hitter like that might go against us. I don't know for sure. Regardless of that, I mean... I recommend hit up that combo, dummy. I really do. It's not the flurry or the focus I would uh, hit up on. It's not your speed that's the problem. It's the speed and precision. Because you go on a... Uh, you need to train to become the next style. Swarm fighter. Once you learn swarm fighting... Oh man, you'll be a whole lot deadlier. I think that's the biggest thing. Is If I was to rank all four fighter types... I would probably say I would rank your traditional fighter in last place. Not that, like, not by a very long shot, because obviously being able to use both offense and defense is good. But shortly following last place would be defense fighters. The problem with defense fighters is too many times, unless you're like somebody like Spartan who knows when to swap, but still relies on it. Fighters like him, they're the ones who give it a good name. But otherwise, too many defense fighters, they just hold defense and they just leave it so easy to go and hit them. To where even the worst of the worst can't get one to break them. And that's the biggest problem with uh, defense fighters. But since defense fighters still have the upper hand of having the, uh, of having better defense ability, for the most part, they're the ones that's really nice. Having that little oomph is still better than having no oomph. But not by much. To me, I mean, defense is just like traditional. They're back to back. They're literally, there's no real big uh, gap difference between the two of them. I would probably say the, in terms of beating people, Flurry Fighter would probably be the second best. Just because they are much more aggressive and much quicker. But at that same point... Actually, I'm going to put... I'm going to put traditional at second place. And then flurry and, tra and uh, defense side by side. 
Defense is probably the lowest grade, I would say, just because they don't go offensive at all, and they just hold their defense too much. It's like, bro, just start throwing hands. You ain't winning defending. You can't win by defending. You're, you're not dealing enough to go and get that win. I want to say that Flurry Fighters, they're really nice now that I think about it. I'm going to turn off rounds, by the way. I was giving you one heads up, you didn't catch it, that's on you. <laughs> but like, flurry fighters like yourself, your biggest problem isn't speed or defense necessarily. But the fact that is like, well, if you know how to stop it, you have no power at all. Like, the reason why you managed to jump my punches up to 40 some, is because I know what to do. I've fought so many of you guys, it's like... Bitch, please, I could defend your attacks. You are another breed of flurry fighter where it's tougher for me. I mean, you still put me in stagger. You still, you keep me on my toes. But the traditional fighter, assuming they're good, they can be a good, well balanced between the two. The difference is, is, you know, most traditional fighters just don't really excel in one personal thing. So they just kind of, they don't get that grasp of to be up here. Instead, they're down, you know, with the mid-grade. The swarm fighters, though, those guys, I swear to goodness, are the worst people you run into. We're quick, we're accurate, we are the improved version of the traditional fighter in every sense. We don't even need to try to go defense because of how good everything is. That's how good we are. We can use any character on that board Lubber as we please. With a clean shot. Lover is really putting the pressure on his opponent tonight. Lover must have felt that one. Like that, that would have definitely been a KO for anybody else. You would have worn out your stamina. And that's why I call you another breed, because honestly, if I didn't back up when I did, you would have had me. 100%. If you had more, if you were playing this early, and I guarantee you, you would have had. One. If you had that power behind the punches. A perfect hit from Clover. <laughs> Will he regain his footing? Like I said, you're another One. breed of uh, flurry. Two. You know what you're doing, but at that same point though. I don't think so. Bad boy. One, Bad. Two, Bad Rexy. Three. Think you're funny. One. Two. Now, as long as you swarm three, your opponent at the right times, you really hold four. control. Once you, it's pretty much once you learn to go on a. Once you have control of the battle, like. I do right there, you'll notice I'll back off from using a uh, heavy pans like you would, and I would pace myself better to keep my character standing in check. And I think that might be some of the problem is you're used to uh, the old one where your stamina regains and all that other stuff. With this one, I think they purposely chose to be like, nah, let's uh, let's make you actually work for it. They, they changed up some of the stamina and stuff, and I think that's something you're still uh getting used to you're just used to coming right back and trying to throw and uh, put them back out instead yeah one of those things is I've also noticed after you come out of stagger you want to instantly uh, throw hands too instead of going back for defense like when you had me uh when we were standing toe to toe like this right here instead I could have thrown hands but my hands were already starting to uh, drain instead I used my uh, buttons threw myself back instead even if you even if you didn't even if you didn't whilst I came back I should have I would have backed up using the analog stick 
regardless of how you do it, learning and not forgetting you have movements can make all the difference. Granted, for fighters like you and I, who's used to just having joysticks and shit like that, where we're like, you know, fuck that moving around shit and stand and bang. That's another story. Honestly, it's not too uh, for, it's not too uh, much of a difference because you'll have to multitask to move your hands from the uh, oh, that's the button, from going back and forth from using your button just to move your hands from the big button or whatnot. The only difference is I don't click down; I just move where my hand is, where my finger is. Otherwise, mentally, if you're good at like uh, like that stupid little thing I do, my little slip, I do to everybody. That, I think, is what kills you, too, is because I, you know I have it in my arsenal. You know about it. I don't even hide it at this point. I don't even, I've never hide it. But you're so used to, uh, like, you're used to having them there, too, where I'm like, okay, I don't mind swapping back and forth. That's what makes my little so useful, is I'll swap from both of the two. So I had a questy. A couple of times, uh, some days ago, say that he ran into you. And I'm like, oh, is that so? He's like, yeah. I'm like, aren't you? A he uh, had me in a call. And I'm like, so you ran into that, Rexy? He's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm calling bullshit on you. And he's like, why is that? Because you can't see Questies here. If you're Questy, you don't see PlayStation at all. We know you exist, and we run into each other, like, right here. We run into each other. But we don't see our name plate. Pla I could pull up the uh, people right now. And you won't see my name up there. Like, I won't see... Yeah, you don't get to see mine. I don't get to see yours. Yeah, we, wait, you see mine? <laughs> that's funny. Oh, never mind. I see you. Oh, cool. Holy shit, it's down there. Ah, oh, that's fucking dope. I didn't... See? This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is where you know... Like, I mean, you can add him if you want. I don't mind. The more fighters we get, the better. If you think he's worth adding, shit, he'll get the training from the best. Well, yeah, if it's Questy, I mean, yeah, we can't. The only reason I'm able to message you is because, blah, blah. <laughs> my, my damn console right there. All right. So... You want to call this championship gold right here? Redemption match for you? I'm going to go and get... I'm going to give you a free... Uh, like our very first match, the Rocky match. I'll give you as a practice match, all right? What a shot. Apollo really showing off his power with that blow. Shit, Apollo, you ain't. You're good? I'm um, not for my screen. You were, you were kicking my ass. <laughs> you gotta be me. Damn it. One, two. Oh, damn, Apollo, you getting your ass kicked. Damn, boy, get your ass back in the fight. Apollo showing some great technique with that blow. Oh, yeah, I'm, it's a back at the joystick. Ooh. I try not to rely on heavy speed anymore like that when I don't need to. Oh yeah, that like I'm wearing a golden stars and stripes. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Hit him with some good shots. He's wide open. 
damn, I got put into stagger and it instantly Two. brought me out of stagger. I'm like, wait, what? Three. Four. I think that's what happened to you a second ago. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that's why I like being the Swarm Fighter over the Flurry Fighter. Is it allows me to contain my uh, stamina better. It also allows me to maintain my character as well. Instead of trying to throw everything out, this allows me to throw shots instead of ever have to worry now. Well, if it means anything... I got, I got something to tell you, man. I got I got something to tell you, man. Come here. You lost 2023. You lost 2024. Hey, you know what? Sometimes the rougher start to the year can mean the better. Because let's be honest. Yeah, sure, you lost the championship uh, chance again. But you knew you are in for a challenge. Number one. Number two. That motivates. You've beat me before. I know you could beat me. Hell, look at uh, last week. You were beating me last week left and right. You have what it takes. I was actually worried that if uh, that this week you would have the momentum to start. The, like you would go all out the first set. Like uh, usual. Like you did last week. And I was like, shit. That's why I hopped on to my uh, headset before uh, fight night. And I was doing light work on the... Uh, like, I was messing around with the bots and shit like that. Like, I was learning more about the bot play and stuff so I could, uh, tailor better workouts and stuff. Like, fun... F well, I mean, people also don't give you too much of an incentive to fight them. Let's be honest here. Why fight the player if the player themselves is, um, I'm gonna say, shitty. Like, I, I mean, no, no, actually, I'm not even gonna say I mean no disrespect, because I do. I really do mean disrespect. Why go and waste time trying to fight and train somebody who's just gonna be a salty, arrogant piece of shit? Like, come on now. That's why I don't train just anybody. That's why one of the biggest criteria I look for while training somebody is sportsmanship. Oh, I see you at top 5, 153 now. Look at that. Hey, look, you just need another 200 or another 100 and you could uh, top 3 that bitch. Then you need about another 700 to go on top my shit. I, I would do 700, not the uh, 600 and so like 610. Trust me, because that other guy did it. I purposely stopped at 59 to give him false hope. I did it to make it feel like he could get that, even though in all reality I'm actually just giving him a slight chance. Like I said, the guy, he beat me never, actually, he went out of 18 rounds he lost. All 18. Back to back. Six rounds every day. Did not come, like, I'll give him credit, I think he did come close a couple of times. But, like, close isn't good enough. Almost don't mean shit. Let's be honest here. But, like, he, he, I want to go and see if he has what it takes. Like, I really would have respect for that guy. If he didn't want to talk shit about this crew. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I know we could be a bit uh, competitive. I know we could be a bit of a handful to uh, deal with. Especially dealing and fighting us the first time. I completely understand hating us. And getting salty about losing. But that's kind of, that's what we do. But like I said before, he sought me out. The guy went and asked me for a fight to start. After he looked for a fight with me. I was like, you know what? I don't give a shit. I just want his... What the fuck? Why does my camera keep doing that? Maybe I need to wipe off my camera or something. But, like, full-fledged. But after he wanted to go and talk shit about the group, saying, uh, pretty much saying we get no bitches and shit like that. The, the usual shit, you know what I mean? I don't have respect for that. I don't. 
You want to talk your game, talk your game. 100% fine by me. I mean, that's 100% cool. Because, I mean, you're going to be salty, you're going to be salty. But you don't talk shit about someone's crew like that. I found somebody else, his cash, if I recall. Yeah, cash. He actually, I invited him to the server. I want to say he's that Michael Jackson looking Hitler guy. He's, he's on the younger side. But then again, he had hard. I don't know how many times I beat his ass. And he got back up and I'm like, take the hint. And he would not stay down. I'm like, wow. The only reason he gave up is because his mother was hollering for him. And because she was uh, hollering for him, he had to go. And I'm like, I like that. He actually wanted to get better. Like, his sportsmanship was fucking amazing, too. I'm like, he was trying to give uh, props to me and shit like that. I'm like, I don't need your props. I don't need nobody to tell me nothing about this game. Nobody could tell me nothing about nothing here. What, are you going to say I'm the uh, that I suck at this game? The leaderboards say otherwise. Even if I don't hold all of them, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna do a quick look over on each of the leaderboards here, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna just. I know that one's mine, but I'm. Oh yeah, no worries. You know I'm thick. Hey, you know what? You didn't do too bad yourself. Just work on the combo dummy. Work on that some. Because if you work on that some, what you'll really do is learn to control your punches better. And once you control your punches and shit better, you'll do a lot better. So I just went over all the, uh, all the, uh, minigames so far. You know, you know what I noticed about all those minigames? There's only been one player to hold the top spot in multiple boards. Everybody, like, there's multiple holders, I'll give it. But there's only one player to hold multiple spots. Like, there's only one player to hold first place on multiple dummies. Everybody else holds only one dummy. It's like, that's all they could do is like, uh, for the double dodge bag. The one you hate is, uh, a postal. A postolo? You know, actually, fuck you. I'm not even gonna try your name again. You, what's your name? Count Zero. He can hold it. He's uh, higher on some of the other boards, I'll give him. But he's not top rank on that board compared to on the uh reaction dummy where that's held by a uh, zero zero reaper zero zero seven reaper i mean i'm sure you could find their name uh somewhere around these boards eventually but my point is nobody holds those uh boards however if you were to look at the flurry and the focus although relatively similar in uh how they're played it don't change the fact that it's still two separate boards with two very separate play styles. Because one, you just have to throw at the body. You could just go and put your body in and just start uh, flexing your muscles and start throwing uh, quick, uh, quick, short little uh, body jabs. I mean, like, that's literally all it takes is for you to take your, bo or your gloves and just quick in body shots and that's all it takes. Just pretty much target the ribs. You don't get the hook or straight, you just get like a slight hook in a rib and you just keep doing it. Where the uh, focus dummy, you have to target and combo one area with lefts and rights and then move on to the next one. So it's one of those, it's, it's one of those dummies. They're similar because they're rapid, but that's only more or less a stamina game. Nobody else can uh, ever say they held more than one of these. At least right now, the only player who could say they hold multiple boards until Spartan comes along. Fucking asshole. <clears throat> I mean, there's only one player to hold it, so as far as I'm concerned, they could talk their shit about this crew. This crew is held over and uh, held up by the best of the best. I mean, hell, you're a week in. This is officially your first week at playing. And you're already top five. I mean, holy shit. I like flat out like that says something about this. That says something about us. And that's only us. That's to assume that, um, let's say, uh, Andy. I, I don't think he's upgraded yet, but I'm going to use him as an example. 
but I have to assume Andy hasn't uh, upgraded or something and isn't using a different name. You and I are the only, or actually you didn't choose a different name because yours was PlayStation. But obviously this is a new headset. I could have chosen a new name for myself entirely. But I kept my old name. Like, that's to assume that, like, if Chevy ever upgraded, if he would change his name, or if he would continue going by Greendale Chevy. Yeah, he's been like that. He's definitely been like that. We just need some hype. We need something going on in the... Uh, Creed again. We need these people to go and get some life back in this game. All the good fighters that we retired or moved up. You know, this might sound crude. But I want them to shut down PS4. I really do. Quit putting time into holding that up. Like they're putting time and money in holding up the PS4. And I mean that that's cool. But it's also like put the time, money, and effort into the new one. PS4 is... I'm, I'm not even going to go and act like I'm not wrong by saying it. It's dead. Yeah we have fighters but it takes an hour plus to find one fight for them to quit. If they win, they quit. If they lose, they quit. Like... Well, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the more popular... Like, if we really go and shoot for popularity, and we start really getting well-known and start getting big hype behind Fight Nights now, like some of the other places do, like, our opinion will start mattering to the devs and they will start following what we are say. Especially if we become big uh, influencers for the game and shit like that. Like, there's no doubt. Like, like I said, somebody randomly messaged me without even knowing Fight Night, without us even having our first Fight Night and I was messaged. That's the type of sway we could hold if we start taking the boards, if we start really making a name for ourselves. I mean, I don't even care about getting the leaderboard for the sake of the leaderboard. When I work the leaderboard, I work them for the sense of trying to get better. Those leaderboards really do act as a better glorified workout. So trying to hit up the flurry dummy, it seems like it's not doing much, but it's pressuring your arms and your stamina to go and keep punching rapidly. Like, that sounds pretty simple, but it really does get hard. The combo dummy gets harder and harder the more you go. I don't know how much the uh, number one was standing there. I could care less how long he was standing there. I'm not worried about uh, grabbing the combo dummy quite yet. Because if I was to go off of my PS4 scores with less... Uh, that one is got just worse tracking. It don't matter how hard you hit that one. That one's all about tracking on that one. And we jumped up from... Like, I think I was top 100 in that for sure. I knew, I remember that piece. And I want to say I was 400 up. Maybe 500. I'd be sitting around the top 10. Maybe top... Around the top 10 area. If I was to hit it up. But right now, I want to focus on certain training over other training. But right now, I'm just kind of... I'm waiting for some of the others to come back before I start really going ham at it because I want to have that sense of rivalry of going back and forth at each other instead of just taking the board calling it a day.
I want to make it feel like someone actually has a chance at taking these boards instead of just, oh, this guy has it. He's three times the size of the other guy. I'm not even going to attempt it no more. Because initially, like a uh, nerd or the top third on the uh, focus dummy, he used to be the number one before I came into play. Frank only took that because I went and came up and uh, I only made a fucking name by topping the other guy by 100 points by just kind of making a light example of the strength we had. Like, but nerd has that. If you were to times that by three, it's very simple math. Three times two is six. Three times four is 12. So it'd be 700. It'd be about 720. About 300 or about 726, I want to say, is how much uh, it would be if you tripled his score. That would beat Frank's score by three times. But it don't beat mine. I three times their entire leaderboard. The flurry dummy. That one was a little uh, tougher. Nerd had a uh, 400 on there. Shadow jumped up with a uh, 450, and then Frank did uh, 660 or 560. But none of them comes close to the uh, 663 yet. They still got over 100 uh, points to go on that. I don't want to go and beat them all the way to a pulp because otherwise they're gonna just quit trying. And who wants someone to just give up before the fight even starts? What type of attitude is that? That's why I can't stand quitters. Like, we just have our own way of doing things and we just like the challenge. That's just how our fight nights go. So all things considered, I mean, that's that. But, I mean, good effort on today. That was some pretty good uh, work. I haven't had to go on a... Uh, I haven't pulled speed like that all in a minute, so... That definitely got me on my toes for a second. So, you did a good job there, Rexy. Well, no shit, I'm the champ and I'm number one. No shit, bitch. <laughs> like, that, sound, that sounds extremely cocky and arrogant. <laughs> like, that 100%. Oh man, like I said, I was just worn out, and that's all that was. But I do feel quicker myself, I'll give it that. My time at the gym definitely is doing something. And I'm just trying to go and get bigger arms. I'm not trying to get super big arms, but I don't want to look like Scraps here. Like, hot damn. That, actually, Scraps is bigger than I am. Well, no, actually, he's not. <laughs> I take that back. I just need to, I want a little more mass behind uh, myself instead. Too thin. My body's a fair weight, but my arms though, they don't they lack. That's why I'm at the gym. That was just a bonus to be able to jump up now. Damn, Felix is scrawny, hot huh? damn. Alright, I'll uh, I'll be Oh yeah, for sure. You better be on next week. I wanna beat your ass next week too. But let's hope that somebody else comes in next week. This one-on-one -on -one challenge ain't gonna go very far. I'll probably hold it for months at this rate. I'll catch you next week. Well, guys, that concludes uh, Saturday Night Fight Night number three. Once more, this time with a whole lot more ease, I went and defended that belt at, uh, for the third time, or for the second time, but the third week of having it. I can't say I'm necessarily too disappointed. Fight night is small right now. That's that's what we expect. Like I said, if you're looking for a challenge, looking for a good trainer, I am more than happy with taking anybody on. I just look for sportsmanship. I really am. If you have the will to fight and the will to get better, I'm more than down with teaching you. And obviously, like I said, uh, my boy, that Rexy here. Shut up. I don't. I don't want. The Play it. I want to view it. Like, as I said to him, nobody else holds these boards. There's only one player to hold both boards as the top contender. Frank would hold it as a second rate, where he's the only one to hold two boards on second, I do believe. But being second don't mean jack shit sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean never.
it's a good marker to see where you're at, but it, it's got a little bit. Like, Nerd used to be uh, number two on most of those. Obviously, as we see, that didn't uh, that doesn't work as well as being top contender. You could be on multiple boards like Count Zero is, but it's also like we'll teach you and we'll train you to be one of the best of the best here, no doubt about it. Like one hundred percent. So I will see you guys in the next fight night. Hopefully next week we get a bigger challenger. If you guys uh, want to join fight night, I'm gonna be posting the link to our uh, Discord for fight nights in the description, as well as the results. So I will catch you all later.